really common question is they'll give you something in your uh, in your textbook and they'll say, is this a a power function or an exponential function, right? And um, and they look like this, and they're so similar that people totally mess them up. And here's the rule. When your x, your input value, your x is in the exponent, this is the exponential function. And this is like literally all you need to know. This is the exponential function. And any time that your x is in the base, but you do have an exponent, this is your power function. All right? I wish I could like make it more dramatic and like pause for effect, but that's it. That's the definition. If your input, if your x value is your x value is in the exponent, done exponential function. So like, okay, I find you know to stretch it out for you. So I don't want to just ruin the ending. I'll give you a couple quiz questions. Look at this one. So if you add y equals two times three to the x, don't worry about this. This is a constant. Don't freak out here, right? Really, you look at your input value x and you say, where is it? Is it in the base or is it in the exponent? And as you already probably figured out, x is in the exponent. This is totally an exponential exponential function. OK, done. That looks like an h. That's pretty bad. So anyways, that one's easy, right? I'll give you one more. And this would be a fun quiz, too. This, we're doing this together. This is kind of interactive and exciting. OK, what about this one? y equals 3 times x to the 5. Oh. There's an exponent. It must be an exponential function. No, the input value, the x, is what you care about. And since it is the base, this is absolutely a power function. I know, it's pretty easy. Sometimes these videos are complicated, and you feel like you've really made some progress. This is like almost too straightforward. But that's it. I promise you it's that easy. So remember, if you're having a hard time in Algebra 2 at your local high school, you can take it online at Silicon Valley High School, and the credits will then be transferred back to your school.